Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of uh, Dial C for Comics, and today we're doing some comic book hunting. I stopped in at my uh, local Half Price Books and went through their back issues and see what kind of stuff we found. So let's see what uh, we find on this hunt. So we got some Adventure Time, uh, some Agent X, Alpha Flight. We're looking for some, uh, some issues, but let's see, you got Animal Man, uh, let's see, Ant-Man, more Alpha Flight. Uh, let's see, at the beginning there, I pulled out some adventure comics. Ooh, John Carter. Uh, more Animal Man. Archangel Armageddon 2001. Some Archie stuff. Well, Archie's not too bad. All right. Now we're looking at Atlantis Attacks. Atlantis Predator. Didn't pick up any of those, but those are always good to find. Uh, Empire. A lot of Avengers. Let's see. Yep, some more Avengers there. And as we're going through War of the Realms, Aquaman. Let's see. What else do we got in there? Oh, an Archie Digest. Got a few of those. There's the uh, Avengers I was talking about last episode with the uh, faces around them. They did a lot of those. I know they did one for Transformers. I got that one and I got that. Some Batgirl. Um, let's see which ones we got here. I think these were all Barbara Gordon. Um, oh, yeah, some Dark Knight's Metal. Let's see what kind of stuff they have in there. Hawkman, New 52. Oh, yeah, now we're getting to the good stuff. Batman Family. I love these collections, these Batman Family, Superman Families. Um, where they have multiple stories in them. Love those ones. Always good to find those. Yeah, it's more Batman. I'm trying to see if we can find some uh, First Prince of Harley Quinn animated adventures, but no luck. Batman Rebirth. All Star. Now we're in Detective Comics. Nothing really in there. Up here in the front, there's a Doomsday Clock, some Before Watchmen. At the front, there was the uh, DC Super Friends. I, I didn't pick that up, but I just should have. Uh, getting to some Gold Key, Betty and Veronica. Uh, yeah, all kinds of good stuff in there. Let's see. Sorry about the... Uh, Bad recording. It's kind of hard to flip and hold my camera. Uh, some Captain Marvel. Let's see, what did I... Oh, yeah, some Black Panther. Trying to find some uh, Black Panther keys. Didn't really see any particular ones. Casper, Champions. Lots of cable. Oh, yes. <clears throat> Champions versus Swarm. Don't think I picked up that one either, but I probably should have. There's some more Champions. That's some good stuff there. Captain America. Yeah, really not finding too much in the seas. I'm sure there's probably some of you people out there watching and probably are yelling at their phone right now for stuff that I missed, but... Certain things I'm looking for, the things I just like to find randomly. A lot of Conan in there. Cyber Force. Ah, yes, now we're getting some Ninja Turtles. I didn't pick up that Savage Dragon Ninja Turtle one. I probably should have. Seems like Ninja Turtles are hot right now. But I didn't pick up that one. Devil Kids. Oh, yeah, Defenders. There we go. I like to see that. Uh, 
All right, now we're jumping around a little bit. Let's see. Doctor Who. Always good to see stuff like that in there. A lot of Earth 2. I think I got most of most of that run, but I think there's a few that I'm missing in there. Some random E's. Oh, yeah, a lot of Final Crisis. A lot of Final Crisis in there. Oh, yeah, there we go. Dark Mansion, oh, yeah, I picked that up. I loved, loved fighting those horror uh, series from DC. Fight Club 2, that's a good series. Oh, and there's another one. Ghosts, oh, yeah, definitely picked that up. Cosmic Ghost Rider, Gotham Academy, trying to find a few keys of those. Probably should have got the Cosmic Ghost Rider too. I heard that's pretty good, but didn't pick that one up. Took me around that Ghost Rider. I think that's a special cover, but didn't pick that one up either. Green Arrow, Green Lantern, trying to find a few keys in there too. Guardians. I really like what they did with the Guardians when they rebooted them for uh, uh, the Annihilus event. I thought that was really cool, what, what they did with them, and obviously what they did with the movies. Hawkman. A lot of um, of the, the Archie and Casper and um, Hothead and stuff like that. I, I have quite a few of those, but that's not something I regularly collect. My favorite, though, is Richie Rich. He's my favorite. And now we're getting to the eyes. I'm trying to find some uh, Iron Man. Infinity Count down Dark Hawk. Trying to find the uh, first appearance of Ironheart. I think she's in an uh, Invincible Iron Man. I'd like to find that issue. Ah, Invaders. This one had a sticker on it with the Hitler cover. <laughs> so I was ex I was kind of interested to see what that was about. Picked that one up. And and don't worry, I'll show you at the end of the video all the stuff that I picked up. Um, and what I ended up getting. Ooh, there we go. Secret Files and Origins. I love, love, love the any of those Secret Files and Origins. Whether they're DC or whether they're Marvel or any... any of them. If they... They got handbooks or secret files and origins. I I always pick them up. There's a commandy. That's cool stuff. And we're getting close to the uh, in their oh legion of superheroes. I almost have a complete run of one of the. I I think it's almost the Baxter run of legion of superheroes. Almost have a complete run of that. Oh, yeah, Luke Cage and Piranha Man. That's, that was the first appearance of Piranha Jones. Mad Balls. I wonder what the, uh, all the 80s interest going on these days. That comic's going to increase. Too bad it was number three, though. If it would been number one, I probably would have got it. Oh, yes, Mars Attacks versus Red Sonia. Interesting combination there. I do like Mars Attacks, though. But didn't get that one a Fantastic Four. I think that's a Bronze Age one. Oh, these are the sorry. These are the Marvel Tales. These are pretty cool too. The two and ones thing in Spider Woman. That one's cool. Martian Manhunter, the Mask. I have the entire run of Mask. Men at War. Metal Men. Should have probably should pick that one up too. I like the Metal Men. Another Marvel uh, super action. And we're coming over here. Let's see. Looking at the rest of the M's. Coming across. Looks like Mighty Isis. 
the TV comic. That one was, I always like those. And My Little Pony, lots of My Little Pony. And New Mutants. Oh, yeah. There's about four or five of that that issue there. I ended up picking picking up a couple of them. Not a major key, but it's uh, it's pretty cool to, to find that one. I remember that very distinct cover. Some more New, new Mutants. I, I have almost a complete run of that, so I don't need any more. And then, finally, DC Talent Showcase. Oh, yeah, these are always cool. I always make sure to get those. Definitely make sure to get all all those collections of ones like that. And that was it for this location. On to the next location. And here we are looking. Let's see what we can find at this one. There is Alias and Avengers. All the authority in there. And I'm really looking for There's some... A lot, a lot, a lot of, you'll see here, West Coast Avengers. And the issue I'm really looking for is uh, the first appearance of my favorite team, and that's the uh, Great Lakes Avengers, or the GLA, or they also call themselves the Great Lakes X-Men. Um, but, yeah, they're they're one of my favorite teams, and they made their first appearance in the West Coast Avengers. So I was looking for one, that particular issue. And I found a few other minor keys in there. Oh yeah, always an annual. If ever I see an annual issue of any comic, I always make sure to grab it. Always gotta grab the annuals. They're just so good. Oh, some more Avengers. Moon Dragon on the cover. Lots of Avengers. I found about a few in there that I needed. Batman, Superman. Batman, more Detective Comics. Oh, Batman Incorporated. Batman and Robin. Yep. There's a few in there that I was thinking about getting, but. Oh, yeah, Penguin, Pain and Prejudice. Oh, Batman Last Night on Earth. That one, I, uh, I, I read that one. It was enjoyable. It wasn't definitely my favorite. Uh, there's some Bone. That's. that's those are coming really hot right now. A lot of early issues. Holiday issue. I think they started about... I think they had started at issue 18 and went up from there. I probably should have got some more of them, but... I didn't know for sure and... Ended up not picking any up, but... I have quite a few of those too. Ah, here is some Captain America. Miss Marvel. I'm sorry, Captain Marvel, not Miss Marvel. And let's see, we we'll go over here. Some more Captain America. A lot of the Brubaker run. And then we found some. Uh, I found a big chunk of the mid '80s um, Captain America run. There's a few very, very, very minor, minor, minor keys in there, but I thought I would uh, get those anyway. I know they probably don't mean anything to anybody, but, yeah, the, the minor keys are kind of cool sometimes. Um, yeah, and I picked up about three or four of those Captain America issues. And, like I said, I'll show you at the end of the video all the ones that I ended up picking up all together. But, yep, yeah, mid, mid-80s. Yeah, some with Demolition Man and um, or D Man, and then some when uh, Captain America isn't Captain America anymore. Yeah, a few few minor keys in there. Like I said, I didn't, I didn't pick all as I should, but uh, there was a few. And they were all reasonably priced. I'm sure they're not perfect. But they're originally priced. There's that Captain America annual I picked up. Got to get them all back in there. <laughs> Funny thing was, I put them all back in there, and then about two minutes later, I ended up going back and pulling a bunch of them out that I wanted. <laughs> oh, well. 
Got to make room in there. Sort the room. Detective Comics. That, that was a good run when they had Clayface on the team. I really, really liked what they did with his character in that series. That was one of my favorite runs. Here we get a chance to pick up those Detective Comics with the with him and Robin and Spoiler and Batwoman on the team. That's good stuff. That I really enjoyed that. That's some Cloak and Dagger. Daredevil. He's a... Uh, there was some, it was kind of some, once again, late, mid-80s issues in there. I was seeing what they had. Um, Future Foundation. My son likes um, the Fantastic Four a little bit, so I try to pull, if there's something good in there, I pull it out for him. That's a Hellblazer. And let's see, I think Green Arrow. Trying to find a few keys in there. Didn't really see anything too much. And some more Guardians of the Galaxy. That's a really cool cover. I like that one. Yep, some more Guardians. Gideon Falls. Batman, Superman. Uh, I think the first appearance of the uh, infected Blue Beetle. Dark Knight 3 Master Race. Ah, the Secret Six first appearance. Heroes in Crisis, oof. Gem of the Holograms, that's the IDW one. I almost picked up that one just because it was from the Generation X universe, and I, I really like Generation X, one of my favorite team. Oh, yeah, Tales of the Green Lantern. I was so excited to find those. Yep, picked up all, um, all I think there was three of them. I picked up all three of those for sure. More Hellblazer. Lots and lots of Hellblazer. Probably need to go back through and see if there's any good keys in there. DMZ. Gotham Academy. Yep. Oh, the, the freebie comics. And I think that's about it. All right, so let's see what we picked up on our latest haul. And we got Invaders. Number 22. Next up, we got Silver Surfer, number 50. And here's one, a nice Joe Kubert cover. DC Star Spangled War Stories. Very cool, older one, I like that. Here's one that took me a while to figure out what it's from, but it's a reprint from a Spider-Man Toy Biz figure. I've never seen that one before. It's different. DC Comics presents Superman and Hawkman. Next up is Plastic Man and the Freedom Fighters from the Convergence series. Variant cover. And here is the Crime Syndicate, another variant cover from the Convergence Universe. And here's Green Arrow, also another variant cover from Convergence. And we got Blue Beetle, also a variant cover from the Convergence storyline. Next is Batman Family number 18. Oh yeah, those are cool. I'm always excited when I find these. And here's Batman Family number 12. And of course, if Batman's got a family, you gotta have a Superman Family. And that is Superman Family 197. And here's Superman Family 179. Here's one of the ones you probably saw in the video. This is Forbidden Tales of Dark Mansion. I know it's kind of beat up and torn, but I just, I don't know, something about those horror comics I just really get excited about to pick up. 
Here's another one. Ghosts from DC Comics. And Superman Family number 200. Here's Superman Family number 199. And Superman Family 193. And Superman Family 194. And here's DMZ number 72, the final issue of that series. Soon to be a TV show or a movie, rumor is. And here's Avengers 228, The Trial of Yellow Jacket. Captain America Annual number 7. Another Superman family, number 195. Here's Adventure Comics, number 469. I always like these ones because they got the anthology series. It's got Starman and Plastic Man in it. Another Adventure Comics, number 476. Also starring Starman and Plastic Man. And here's one of my favorite sections of uh, Adventure Comics. Dial H for Heroes, one of my all-time favorite superheroes. Just the, the ability to be able to transform into any hero or heroine or whomever. And I, I just love, anytime I see Dial H for Hero, I always make sure to pick it up. And New Talent Showcase, number one from 2018. Now next up I have some minor keys, and when I say minor keys, I mean they're very, very minor, um, but I like to collect stuff like that. And here's uh, Poe Dameron, number one. First appearance of Poe Dameron and of BB-8. Here's Deadpool, number eight. Reintroduction of Ziggy Pig and Silly Seal. Like I said, these are all just minor, minor keys. Just fun to collect them. And here's Deadpool number six. And this is the first appearance of Kill Puddle, the laugh, laughing assassin. And here's Undiscovered Country number one. I'm gonna pick up this one. It's good. Rumor is it's supposed to be a movie here soon. And that sounds like a pretty good reason to pick up issue one. And here's Dark Knight's Death Metal number one. And this is the first appearance of the Beyonder, the Dark Multiverse version of Terry McGinnis. And here's Captain America 336. And this is where Steve Rogers becomes the captain. And he's no longer Captain America, but this is the one who becomes the captain. Captain America 335, and that is the first appearance of the Watch Dogs. Three thirty-four. Lamar Hopkins becomes Bucky to Captain America John Walker. Captain America 319, the origin of Diamondback, and also the appearance of uh, shoot, I can't remember. The, the Bar With No Name also has an appearance in there, too. And here's Captain America 330, the first appearance of Night Shift. And Captain America 342, the first appearance of Coach Whip. Like I said, here's some more, another minor key one. Here's new, def or here's the Defenders, number 125, and that's the marriage of Hellstorm and Hellcat. Here's the Defenders, 
112, and it's the first appearance of Power Princess. And here's West Coast Avengers, number 21. That's where Moon Knight joins the West Coast Avengers. And here's West Coast Avengers, number 17. First appearance of Sunstroke. And here's West Coast Avengers, number 63. First appearance of Living Lightning and his origin. And West Coast Avengers number four, first appearance of Master Pandemonium. And here's Avengers number 222. Two, two. And this is the new Masters of Evil that show up. And here's Avengers number 227, Captain Marvel. Joins the team and she becomes the she becomes the first African American female Avenger. And like I said, Green Lantern Corps, Tales of Green Lantern Corps. I mean, I picked up one, two, and three, and this one has the origin of the Green Lanterns and the Guardians. And number two, this is the first appearance of Necron. And if you want to really see Necron. Flexes muscle. Check out the Blackest Night series. Those are that's oh, love that series. Great series, and Tales of the Green Lantern Core number three, all with the great Brian Bolin covers. And here's Batman Superman number five, and that is the first appearance of the Secret Six. That was the infected Secret Six, not the team the secret six and here's batman superman number three the first appearance of the dark multiverse blue beetle and next we have uncanny x-men number 200 and this is the one where magneto becomes headmaster at xavier's school And here is Adventures of Superman 497, and this is the second battle of Doomsday versus Superman. And Superman 74 with the first battle of Doomsday versus Superman. And this, I believe, if we look at it correctly, I think this is a newsstand copy, because I also have... The direct edition too. So as you can see the only barcode makes them different. And here's Omega number eight. And this is the first first cameo of the second Fool Killer and the second appearance of Nitro. And here's Detective Comics 1003. And that's the identity of Arkham Knight revealed. I won't spoil that for you, but that's the issue his identity is revealed. And here's Miss Marvel number 11. And this is the issue where Rebecca St. Jude becomes locked down. And here's Apocalypse and the Extracts, I believe is how you say that. And that's where Evan Sabanur becomes Captain Kid Apocalypse. And here's Spider Girls, number three. And this issue has Annie Mae Parker becomes Pattern Maker. And here's Action Comics 684. And that is Doomsday Finally Makes It to Metropolis. Here's Alpha Flight, number 11. And this is the first Omega Flight. And it's the origin of Sasquatch. Here is Alpha Flight number 19. And this is where Elizabeth to Youngman becomes Talisman. And here's Alpha Flight number 23. The first mention of Tanarak. And as you saw earlier, I showed the video. 
Here is a copy of New Mutants number 60 with the death of Cypher. Here's Teen Titans annual number three with the second appearance of Nightwing and the death of Terra. And finally, Superior Spider-Man number 33 with the first spider cyborg and the first appearance of the inheritors. All right, well, I thank you for taking the time to watch. Uh, make sure if you want to see more, you click like, subscribe, share, comment, and I appreciate you watching. Thank you.